Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide where today I'm going to be taking a look at the APC as part of the gun running DLC. So let's get right to the guide shall we? So the APC, at a price of 3.1 million dollars it's the vehicle that's been the most prominent in the images and trailers of the gun running DLC. But is it any good? Hell yes it is. Where to begin? I guess we'll just start with the driving and handling first. Surprisingly, despite being a big heavy armoured personnel carrier, this thing is pretty darn fast, especially when it comes to driving on rugged terrain. The thing acts like it's on the moon quite a lot and even does a lot of wheelies, so this thing practically flies across the terrain. It's also very easily on the handling, allowing you to drive it with confidence when it comes to those situations where you need to move around in a pinch. And what's cool about this thing is the fact that it's amphibious. Step aside Technical Aqua because there's a new vehicle that completely obsoletes you, mainly because the weapon on top is way better than that machine gun. Speaking of weapons, the APC can be equipped with either a cannon, which is about the same as the cannon found on a Rhino tank, as well as the option to replace it with SAM missiles. Let me just get this out of the way so you don't waste your money. Do not buy the SAM missile upgrade, okay? Here's why. The missiles don't even lock on. And what's worse is that there's a limited amount of missiles that the launcher contains compared to the standard cannon which has infinite ammo. The SAM missile launcher has a much higher rate of fire making it formidable against anything that you pit it against, but that's about the only advantage that the SAM missile has unfortunately. I would just recommend sticking with the cannon that's stock fitted to the vehicle and you're good to go. This vehicle also has the ability to be equipped with vehicle mounted proxy mines, which is great for if you're being chased by someone behind you, or if you want to just see if you can blow up some nearby players that are on the ground. These mines are unlimited so plant away Sunny Jim, but only if you've done the research in your bunker. Same goes for the SAM missile launcher but I've already told you how much that pales in comparison. The defence of this vehicle is also very impressive. It's about the same as an insurgent making it one of the toughest vehicles in the game if not THE toughest. That paired with its rapidly firing gun on top makes this vehicle something to be feared on the battlefield if you're not in one yourself. However it's not all sunshines and rainbows as the gun on top requires the commandeering of a friend on board to control. It's not like the Rhino tank where the driver can both drive and operate the gun at the same time, so keep that in mind. The APC is the vehicle of vehicles in my opinion in this DLC and although it's not the vehicle to go to for fighting Hydras, it's unholy against anything that tries to take it on on the ground. And on that note I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe for loads more GTA Online guides coming to you very soon. See you around!